this is my really fast review of Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. I've got one minute to tell you about it. Let's go. I don't know what to say. This is a two and a half hour long Star Wars movie, the longest one we've ever gotten, and it is jam packed with content. There's about three or four different storylines going on at any given moment, about ten main characters, and it's so complex, which is so weird because Force Awakens is so simple, and you, you pretty much know exactly what's going to happen for the most part throughout the movie, other than a few minor things, but this movie, super unpredictable, and it's trying really hard to be unpredictable, so that's both good and bad, and there are moments that as a film geek and a Star Wars geek blew my mind, and other moment, moments as a film geek and a Star Wars geek that really pissed me off, and there are a lot of moments in the middle where I don't know how to feel about them. This is a weird feeling for me. I normally am very good at reading my own emotions and my own thoughts, and I don't know. It's, I'm, whoa, this movie blew my mind in so many ways, both good and bad, and I'm still processing. Bottom line, go see this movie if you have any interest in Star Wars at all. And that is all my time for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to read more, there's my extended review written down below. And that's all I've got for you this week. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. I don't have my timer. Where's my phone? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, um, I, I don't I don't know. It's so complicated. I set this for an hour. Okay, I gotta try this again. 60 seconds. There we go.